my absolute lowest point emotionally and mentally is honestly something I've never talked about. And even in the moment of it all, I knew that the thought wasn't mine. I was sitting in my car and this is awful, this is horrible, this is like the low of the low, nothing acceptable about it, but I had a pistol sitting next to me on my seat. And it's like, dude, just finish it, man, be done. And I thought of my kids, I thought of my wife, I thought of all the people that rely on me, and I'm like, where is this freaking coming from? So I was uh, born in Long Beach, California. Both my parents grew up there. And, um, you know, to be honest, I don't remember a whole lot there. We moved to, you know, near Salt Lake City, Utah, when I was about five or six. Um, fast forward to what would have been 2004, so I would have been, um, what, 22. Um, I got married, I was a full-time student. I was working full-time and I was, you know, chasing some ideas of a career of what I thought I wanted to do. And my wife comes from a family of 10. She cooked big, I mean, she she's a runner and is very, very healthy, but uh, we had a lot of food and as stress hits, as, as jobs hit, you know, marriage, school, career, kids, it's, it's a heavy burden and, and sometimes your health gets, gets put, put on the back burner for a bit. You know, you sit down and you feel this big gut between your legs. I don't know that I was, you know, massive. I was definitely obese on and off the last few years, last 10 years. I think the lie I told myself is, is, oh man, you're looking pretty good. And a couple weeks, a couple months, whatever it is, go by. You're like, ah, I don't, I don't look so bad. You know, I, I look all right. And then a few months go by and you're like, oh my gosh, what's going on? Then you're just beating yourself up all the time. In 2006, my wife and I bought our first house. And we had some, some problems with it. it. Turned into a three or four year legal battle. Um, it was super tough. We ended up um, losing the house. You know, as a provider, as a husband, I mean, you don't, you don't want your wife and kids to go through that. I mean, that's, that's your role to, to step up and, and, and take care of them. So when you're in a position where you can no longer do that, it was definitely hard not to have, you know, a lot of anger and, um, you know, it definitely had an impact on on me, in my relationship with my wife especially. Um, I remember one night, you know, getting in, into it with my wife, Amber. Um, I remember just leaving the house and I went for a drive and it's like midnight. I was sitting in my car. I had a pistol sitting next to me on my seat. I'm just like, man, what am I, what am I gonna do? Like when is is life gonna like give a little bit you know I had some some awful deep thoughts like you know stuff that you know thoughts that weren't mine and it's like dude just finish it man be done and I thought of my kids I thought of my wife I thought of all the people that rely on me and I'm like man what what are you doing like this isn't you a lot of the crap that's not you like you don't have to own that you don't have to be that I would say the biggest impact for me was hands down what I told myself at night. I had this thought, I'm like, man, you, you need to be a little bit selfish. It's like, man, go back to the gym. You feel good there. It, it caused a lot of arguments and it, you know, still causes some scheduling issues. But I started making that, you know, a little bit of a priority. When I registered for the challenge, I was at 226, 226 pounds. Um, my body fat on my little Omron thing was reading like between 19 and 20. And my waist was right around 44 inches. So I, you know, probably spent 10 to 15 hours, like just over a week or two, like coming up with a game plan and just doing as much as I could to you know, create this, you know, massive action plan. And in 12 weeks, I went down to 187. So I lost 
uh, 39 pounds and I lost almost 11 inches off my waist which was the part I was most excited about. Hey, I'm Glenn Lovelace. I am the bodybuilding.com 2017 $250,000 transformation winner. You know, my grind has been 10 years of this schedule and you know, winning this transformation was more than you know, some pounds lost. It was like really proving to myself that I could finish something, that I could create like a mini legacy within my own little world for my kids. The, the promising part for me is all the things that I've learned have got me to a point now where I think that the knowledge and what works for me and, and maintaining is, is finally at a, at a peak point where you know, I'm pretty happy with, with where I'm at. Give yourself a window where you're not going to let yourself have any excuses. You've got one life to live. You're going to have pain. You're going to have setbacks. And I, I think that's the exciting part about life is challenging yourself. And that'd be my one message is, man, you got one life. Like, let's live it.